The peace of the Lord be with you all. Welcome to another episode of Faith Journey. Tonight, we're taking this moment to find peace in our hearts and minds before we journey into a night of restful slumber. So settle in, open your hearts, and be ready for our midnight reflection. Amen to that, Lucas Gabriel. I am here too, praying, reflecting, and sharing this peaceful moment with all of our listeners. Tonight, we dedicate this powerful prayer to all who lie awake, battling the sleepless nights, carrying burdens that hinder their rest. Through the profound teachings of Mark 5, 25, 34, we hope to provide comfort so that when you close your eyes, you'll sleep peacefully and wake with the strength you need for another day. Throughout history, when life's storms become too heavy and our hearts heavy with troubles, we often turn to the comforting words laid bare in the scriptures. A particularly touching verse can be found in Mark 5, 25, 34. This passage has provided a beacon of hope and solace for those whose souls bear the weight of suffering. Across generations, its words have been uttered and its teachings cherished, providing a safe haven for many. It is in these words, our beloved listeners, that we are reminded the trials and tribulations of life do not define us and we are never alone. God, our eternal protector, is forever by our side, extending his loving hands in times of strife, offering us shelter from the tempest. Every word of the Mark 5, 25, 34 carries a silent promise, whispering assurances that amidst unparalleled pain, undying hope still prevails. And within the chaos that tests our faith, one can always discover peace because God's love for us never wanes. Amen, Lucas. The verse from Mark 5, 25, 34 has always laid a deep imprint on my heart. Let's now fold our hands, close our eyes, and pray together. And now, my dear listeners, I encourage you to bring your prayers to the feet of the Lord. Leave the names of your loved ones in the comments, and together we will lift them up in prayer, presenting them to our gracious God. If these words and reflections have found a place in your heart, do not hesitate to share your support. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Every day we are growing as a big prayer family right here on Faith Journey, bound by faith and love. Remember, a simple gesture can make a significant difference. May God bless you all abundantly. Now, beloved listeners, I invite Pastor Elias to read to us Mark 5, 25, 34. Thank you, Bishop. As I read, I encourage everyone to pray along with me, repeating these words by heart or in silence. May you claim all the promises that our Lord brings through Scripture. May his words be your shield and succor. Now a certain woman had a flow of blood for 12 years. She had suffered many things from many physicians. She had spent all that she had and was no better, but rather grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came behind him in a crowd and touched his garment. For she said, if only I may touch his clothes, I shall be made well. Immediately the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt in her body that she was healed of the affliction. And Jesus, immediately knowing in himself that power had gone out of him, turned around in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? But his disciples said to him, You see the multitude thronging you, and you say, Who touched me? And he looked around to see her who had done this thing. But the woman, fearing and trembling, knowing what had happened to her, came and fell down before him and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your affliction. Amen. Oh, how comforting it is to hear these words. They always seem to reach the deepest corners of our hearts. Personally, I find it hard to hold back the emotion that wells up each time I reflect upon this passage, the joy that it brings. Think about it. In the stillness of this early hour, the power of God emanates from these words, reinforcing our faith and filling us with hope. I have a special guidance for all of you tuning into Faith Journey. Return to this prayer every day before you rest for the night. Throughout the week, make this a habit. Let these words seep into your hearts and minds and watch as they unfold blessings in your life. 
just as the Psalm 91 or 1 John 4 verse 8 or 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7, the scripture we read today carries its own divine power. Find refuge and solace in them, my dear listeners. Allow his words to be your light in the depths of the night. My dear listeners, I urge you to listen to this prayer for seven days straight. Keep in mind the number seven is magnificent. It is the number assigned to God. It signifies perfection. Just like we absorb the promises in the Psalm 91 or from 1 John 4 verse 8 or 1 Corinthians 13 verses 4 to 7, let us invite this prayer into our hearts for this span of seven days. I assure you the blessings and insights that will follow will be nothing short of divine. This prayer isn't just for you. Share it with your loved ones, your family, your friends. Many among us are in desperate need of the blessings conveyed in Mark 5 verses 25 to 34. For every 10 people you share this message with, you can be assured that there's a high probability at least one will be deeply touched and find their path to the Word of God. Others will experience showers of blessings, transformation, and enlightenment. Sharing this prayer is a philanthropic gesture, my dear listeners. It's a simple act, but with potential to amplify the blessings a hundredfold. Let's pay it forward and partake in the spiritual enrichment of those around us. You're not alone. Every word, every promise held within the verses of Mark 5, verses 25 through 34, are now upon you. They encompass you, your dwelling, and each member of your family. You're under God's benevolence, secured in His promises. May He continue to bless you abundantly, in ways that only He can. Just as He took care of the lilies of the field, He will take care of you and your loved ones. Trust in Him and His word. Their power goes beyond what we can fathom. As we approach the end of this episode of Faith Journey, we extend a clear and heartfelt benediction to each and every one of you. May peace and wisdom accompany your days and nights. Yes, dear listeners, our prayer together has now come to a close. But God's blessings continue infinitely. Please don't forget to subscribe to our sessions on Faith Journey so you won't miss any of our midnight reflections. We cherish your company in our nightly meditations. God bless you abundantly, and until the next prayer. I see some of us faced with the obstacle of insomnia, and some in need of peaceful sleep after a long day. To those who are looking forward to a night of work or who have studies awaiting, I say, may your hours be productive and the wisdom of God be your constant guide. And to those battling sleepless nights, may you find the calm and comfort you're seeking. May sleep come to you as softly and peacefully as a feather falling, and to those observing a prayer vigil, remember, your dedication shall not be overlooked. There is a reward for your unwavering faith and prayer, my beloved listeners. From the depths of my heart to yours, have a blessed night, and may God bless you in abundance.